Hello everyone, got a few dirty jokes for you today. So two old men are sitting on a bench at the park. A fit young girl runs past in a sports bra and a tiny pair of shorts. One of the men smiles, and this brings the girl over. Why are you staring at me and grinning, you pervert? She says. The old man sweetly replies, my dear, I'm not smiling at you. I'm smiling at the thought that no matter how bad the world gets, there will always be young, pretty girls in the summer to cheer up a lonely old man. The girl replies, you sweet old man, leans in and gives him a kiss on the cheek and jogs on. The old man turns to his friend and says, two zero, your turn. <laughs> So, a Navy chief was driving through a small town when his car broke down. He limped into a local mechanic who said, I'll take a look. Why don't you walk around town? So, the Navy chief walked around town, saw the sights, and had a great meal with dessert. As he wandered back to the mechanic's shop, the mechanic stopped him and said, Hey, I'm sorry, but it looks like you blew a seal. The Navy chief said, no, I didn't. It's ice cream, I swear. <laughs> so, Mick takes a job on a construction site in Dublin. Part of his daily work is to clear any sewage and empty the waste from the pipes. Every Friday, he has to hand in his timesheets. After the second week, the boss pulls him over for a word. Mick says the boss. I need to have a word about your timesheets. For the past two weeks, all you have wrote on them is 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. shoveling shit. That's right, sir. That's what I do, shovel shit, says Mick. Well, Mick, says the boss. In future, can you not write shoveling shit? Can you write excavating excrement instead? For hell's sake, says Mick. If I could write excavating excrement, I wouldn't be shoveling damn shit. <laughs> so, a woman asks her husband, would you like some bacon and eggs, a slice of toast, and maybe some grapefruit and coffee? He declines. Thanks for asking, but I'm not hungry right now. It's this Viagra, he says. It's really taken the edge off my appetite. At lunchtime, she asked him if he would like something. A bowl of soup, homemade muffins, or a cheese sandwich. He declines. The Viagra, he says, really trashes my desire for food. Come dinner time, she asks, if he wants anything to eat. Would you? like a juicy ribeye steak and scrumptious apple pie, or maybe a rotisserie chicken or tasty stir-fry. He declines again. No, he says. It's got to be the Viagra. I'm still not hungry. Well, she says, would you mind letting me up? I'm starving. <laughs> so a guy goes to a restaurant and orders a portion of meatballs. The meatballs arrive and he notices a few hairs in some of them. He immediately calls for the waiter and complains. The waiter explains, I'm sorry, sir. You see, our chef is a war veteran, lost his left arm in action. Also, our kitchen is not well aired, so it keeps very hot, so all staff wears minimal clothing. Now, when it comes to forming meatballs out chef, Missing one arm has to roll them on his chest. That is absolutely disgusting, cries the customer. Oh, that's nothing, sir, says the waiter. You should see how he stuffs the peppers. <laughs> so, three old men were at the doctor's for a memory test. The doctor asked the first old man, what's two times two? 194, came the reply. The doctor turned to the second old man. What's two times two? Thursday, 
replied the second old man. Finally, the doctor asked the third old man, what's two times two? Four, came the answer. That's great, said the doctor. How did you get that? Simple, said the third old man. I subtracted 194 from Thursday. <laughs> so five pigs walk into a bar. The first pig orders one beer. The second pig orders two beers. The third pig orders three beers. The fourth pig orders four beers. And the fifth pig orders five beers. The first pig drinks his beer, goes to the bathroom, and leaves. The second pig drinks both his beers, goes to the bathroom, and leaves. The third pig drinks all three of his beers, goes to the bathroom, and leaves. The fourth pig drinks all four of his beers, goes to the bathroom. The fifth pig drinks all five of his beers, and then leaves without going to the bathroom. Wait a minute says the bartender. Why aren't you going to the bathroom like your four friends did? I mean, you drank more beer than any of them. Because, says the pig, I'm the pig that goes wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> so a guy gets a prison sentence and is lying there in his cell bunk the first night after lights out and hears someone shout out 42. The entire wing breaks out in hysterics. After it all dies down, someone else yells out 17. The wing is in hysterics again. This happens a couple more times, and he finally fell asleep. Next morning at Brecky, he asked another inmate what that was all about. The inmate says, well, most of us have been here. So long we know everyone's jokes, so we numbered them and everyone knows which joke is being told. Oh, says the new guy, that makes sense now. That night, someone yells out 35 and after the laughter dies off and the new guy shouts out 22. Nothing, not a single laugh. He then yells out 48. Nothing again. Then he fell asleep. Next morning, he asked the other inmate why no one laughed when he yelled out a number. He replied, well, you know how it is. Some people can tell them and some can't. <laughs> so as the storm raged, the captain realized his ship was sinking fast. He called out, anyone here know how to pray? One man stepped forward. I, captain, I know how to pray. Good, said the captain. You pray while the rest of us put on our life jackets. We're one short. 